You're a different kind of beautiful. Run my hand through your hair in the morning. It's unusual. The way your skin glows on the pillow. I can't get enough of you. Every day's a honeymoon. Let me show you. I pull you closer. I just wanna stay in love with you. I don't wanna fall for someone new. 'Cause baby, you're my sunshine, my treasure. Just keeps getting better. Mm. Baby, you're so irresistible. Dancing in the kitchen. Crying in my arms, fighting in the car, making up and kissing. I love every shade of you. Every moment. Hey there, folks. Where has our traversing through Korea brought us this time? And what could the meaning of this arch made to look like a mock amusement park ride be? From what's written on the hanging sign, it appears that we are at Songwoldong Dongwamu, or Songwoldong Fairy Tale Village. Located in the city of Incheon, like we saw early on, we are accompanied on this occasion by our charming guides Snow and Sun. As we walk down this lovely cobblestone road, I can't help but ask what lays in store ahead. The view from the skyline from this vantage point is quite impressive, and that building with that coastal scene looks very inviting. Now that we're turning this corner. Wow! Where could we be now? Just like walking through a fairy tale dream. Take a look at this wonderfully painted wall to our right, and check out the red bricked path layout in this alleyway. So, what is this we are approaching now? It looks like a flight of stairs that are painted with the characters from Disney's Bambi. As you can see, there are a lot of byways to take in this unique enclave, which makes the perfect environment for surprises like that beanstalk that we are soon approaching. Although there isn't any known date for when this enclave of Incheon was established, records show that the area that comprises Songwoldong was opened mainly to foreigners, primarily Germans, back in 1883. It's not surprising then to see how the migrations of Central Europeans from that time left a tangible influence in the area, as references to Western fairy tales can be seen throughout. While the interspersed murals of such Western children's lore, like Hensel and Gretel, can be found, the touches and color palettes used to represent such have a quaint flair that is unmistakably Korean. There actually was a time decades ago when this neighborhood in Incheon began deteriorating as it became a hub for the elderly. But with permission from the village's residents, this area became infused with the vigor of youth as adolescents, designers, and architects from the surrounding metropolis came together as a creative collaborative. Inspired by the tales told by the village's elderly and stories from around the world, this community underwent an amazing transformation to become what it is now. Today, tourists as well as couples and families from throughout Incheon and Seoul visit the fairy tale village to enjoy fantastic landmarks, like Peter Pan marking the way to Dorothy Road, which is a recreation of the famed Yellow Brick Road with all the characters from The Wizard of Oz. If The Wizard of Oz isn't your thing, don't worry because you can find Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, and even Snow White here as well. My name is Daniel, and it has been a distinct pleasure bringing you to this wondrous place in Korea. On behalf of myself, Snow, San, and the production staff at the Korea Happy Together Travel Channel, we await you in our next video, where you can get all of your virtual travel needs met.